Yo, hello and how is it going my fellow DeFi DGEN friends? Hope you're all doing well today and I hope you're all staying safe. Now on the subject of staying safe, I know we're all DGENs and you know sometimes we just go crazy. However, we still need to know how to you know protect ourselves in this crazy DeFi world um, and how to take certain precautions and how to get out of contracts if we need to uh, based on different circumstances. So today's video is focusing on emergency withdrawals. That's either from LP pools and also I will cover Genesis pools too. Bearing in mind this is only a small chance that you can get money out if things do go badly. If a project does rug it's likely that they may drain the liquidity pool straight away. But knowing this technique at least gives you a fighting chance to try and get your money back. Withdraw it directly from the contracts and you know just try and save yourself that little bit extra. So first, let's cover LP pools. Now I'm going to use 2 ohm as an example. You know, I'm not endorsing 2 ohm. I'm, all, I'm also not saying they will rug. I'm just using this as an example. So let's say you have supplied your LP per, whether that's at Spooky Swap, Spirit Swap, or any other decks. You will have your LP per here. And you deposit that into the contract. Let's see, deposit that into there. Currently gas is just crazy at the minute on Phantom. I like to double the gas just to be sure. So I have now staked my LP in this pool and the two shares FTM pool. Yeah, so it's now there in the pool. Now in the farms, there's three different pools here. Two ohm FTM LP, two share FTM LP, two ohm, two share LP. So there is three different farm pools here. Now typically if you watch other videos you will see that they advise you to go to vfat.tools However, most tomb forks do not register on here, so it's not as convenient to find what you're looking for. The easiest and the most black and white way to find what you are looking for is directly through your wallet So if you head to your metamask extension and you click the three dots you can view your wallet account in explorer this will take you to ftm scan this is the same for any explorer whether it's ftm ethereum bsc avax whichever one it is all of the explorers and the scanners look exactly the same so you can follow this whatever chain you are using so the easiest way i have found this is the taxation hash that we've just deposited the you know the one spooky lp into the contract now it would be ideal if you can remember exactly at what time and when you did deposit the lp or you know your tokens into a genesis pill because that would be helpful now i know that this was one minute ago this was my deposit into the lp it was from my address here to this address which is a contract which we know is the LP pool. Now if you head to this contract, this is the 2 ohm FTM contract. You click on this contract button, write contract. You connect to Web3, this just connects your wallet so it can enable the functionality. You head down to emergency withdraw. The PID is pool ID. Now on 2 ohm, there is three different pools. And please bear in mind that I have found up on testing that the first pool actually starts with the number zero and not the number one. So it would be zero, one, two. Now it doesn't really matter if you're unsure of what pool you're in. You can just keep just keep bashing numbers in there until your pool pops up. Now each request will write no matter what. So I put number zero into this emergency withdrawal. Estimated gas, so bump this up a little bit. And confirm that now you can once you click confirm and spend a little bit of gas you can view your transaction here now you can see this was a success it was from th that contract wallet back into my wallet for the spooky LP now I've received the LP back now heading back into the two shirt FTM LP you can see that this has been withdrawn. So this is helpful if you have got LPs in a website that has been taken down. Perhaps the website is, you know, it, maybe it's just bugged and you just want to get your investment out or maybe the developers have rubbed it. It's always best to go straight to the contract and try and do your emergency withdrawal to get your funds out. Now, just for the example, if I went to write, so for the different pools, you can just keep writing numbers and you can see it will let you do the different numbers. However, if you view the transaction, it will still be a success. However, there will be zero LP removed as we do not have any LP in the other farms. 
So for Genesis pools, it works pretty much exactly the same. I'm using this website as an example. This is Rare Finance. I'm just using this as an example as they're currently doing the Genesis pools. I don't know anything about this project, so please don't ape into it based on what I'm doing. Heading into Genesis pools, I want to deposit a wrap phantom here. I'll deposit one wrap phantom in there. So you can now see that my wrap phantom is in this Genesis pool. Now, doing the same technique that we used before is the easiest way to find it. Head to your wallet, click the three dots, view your account in Explorer, and this will bring up your wallet directly. Now you can see 31 seconds ago, this was my deposit into the Genesis pool for one wrap phantom. It came from my wallet here, heading to this wallet here, which is the contract for the Genesis pools. <clears throat> So if you click on contract again, write contract, connect to web3 again to enable the functionality, straight down to emergency withdrawal. Now the Genesis pools here, we can see there are five Genesis pools and the first one starts with a zero. So it'd be zero, one, two, three. Number three should be our wrap phantom pool ID. Write number three in the pool ID section write that to the contract you know perhaps edit your gas if you need to send that transaction and then view your transaction here wait for that to be done and you can see that was a success it came from this wallet which is the contract wallet to our wallet for 0 0.99 which is the one ftm that we deposited into the genesis pool now as we said before you can keep trying these numbers, you know, the only thing that it's going to cost you is gas. Keep trying these numbers until you reach your pool. Now, for example, there is five pools, and if you write number six and click write, this is impossible to do as there is no six pool. So it will say this transaction is expected to fail and the gas amount will be just extremely high this means it's impossible for the contract to write that action so that number is not going to work so keep trying different numbers in the lower range until you reach your pool hopefully this video is helpful to you as you move forward in your dgen journey you know that you've got this as a backup if it ever came to that of course it goes without saying make sure you're not just throwing your money into any kind of genesis pool rugduck.io on twitter are an amazing team they're always posting information and helpful tactics to help us dgen stay safe if contracts are you know sketchy or if they do like rugs rug doc io will post that they posted on twitter that you know you can send them a message and they will check contracts for free uh, just to keep everyone safe so there is always risk in DeFi, and you know just make sure you're doing everything that you can to stay safe follow the techniques in this video reach out to rug doc on twitter um, and just make sure you're staying safe as a dj Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube if you're not already. We're always doing DGEM videos, finding new gems, finding new innovations in the space. And you know, all just working together so that we can make it in this DeFi DGEM world. So stay safe out there, make good investments, and have a great day.